Good morning, good morning. No matter how I look, I just finished my four mile walk. Um, a little bit over four miles. Praise God that I'm able to do that. And um, my husband sent me a video to watch while I was on my walk. And it was this um, um, prophet from um, Limbabwe, Limbabwe, Limbabwe. I believe his name is Emmanuel Makawia or something like that. Anyways, he was talking about, um, actually he had prophesied about this coronavirus, I guess um, from five years ago in um, 2015. And then God gave him clarity in 2017 and God gave him more clarity in 2018. I'm gonna go ahead and post the video for you guys to see because it's really remarkable. Because the word of God says that nothing is done upon the earth without God for first alarming his prophets, letting his prophets know what is coming so that we can know how to pray or, or what to do, what God is asking us to do when this um, situation um, comes up. And um, I'm amazed. Um, I'm amazed that a lot of what he's saying and what um, God is telling him is what I feel in my spirit God has been showing um, most of us over the last five years. And um, over the last five years, we all have um, enacted upon these things in different ways, where, whether it's um, um, setting up prayer groups, prayer lines, um, calling people to prayer, um, uh, you know, praying upon on our streets, our blocks, or whatever. But um, in some way, form, or fashion, we all basically have been doing a lot of what um, God has put us in our in our spirit. There's some of us who don't, but you know that's how it is. is um, you know, um, it, it has always been, even from the time when um, God walked up on the on the earth, or even before that. There are some that's going to obey God's word, and some that are not. But I'm speaking today to those who obey God's word. I'm speaking to the, the believers of God who enact upon his word when they hear God's word. And so I'm just, I just wanna encourage you guys um, this this morning and, and, and from, from now, from going ends for it to, um, it's great to pray on a prayer line. It's great to, um, to um, have, you know, um, Zoom prayer. All of that is good and all of that is needed as well. But I want to encourage you guys, right? Because this is a demon, right? This is a, a, a demon that is, has infected our atmosphere, right? I remember um, a couple of um, months ago when I came outside, I, I felt the atmosphere change. There was a shift in the atmosphere. Something was different about um, the air that I was breathing outside. and. Um, I believe it's the it's it's the onslaught of this this spirit corona that as um, that is going through roaming through the earth right it's roaming through the earth um, 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 taking those that it feels that um, it the weakest of those that he feels that are I don't have a prayer life for one and that he can do harm to that 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 they have a weakness already right and and then when people right when when people get sick or get this um, virus they go they panic right when, when you panic it also lowers your immune system right it, make, it makes you go into this fight or flight um, system and 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 sometimes we succumb to our fears and we succumb to the, the um, to, 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 to the virus I want to encourage you guys um, God has um, given me two things to do for myself and one of it is to use salt water um, in my nose and also to um, gargle with salt water and also to take deep breaths and hold it and then you know like for a minute or so or as long as you can for three times a day and so I do that and so um, because you know there's so much that they don't know right they don't know anything about this virus i'm telling you right now they're guessing they're guessing right and so um i want to encourage us to um take our our communities right um if each of us 
just even if you pray, you walk and pray around your area, if every, every believer does that, we will send out a sound in the atmosphere, right? We'll send out the sound outside in the atmosphere. And so that, 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 that demonic force, that coronavirus, right? It will be blocked from each of our areas if we take, take charge. If we take the power of God that is within us, plead the blood of Yeshua over our area, over the houses, over the people as we walk. And if, if those who are driving the work, as you're driving the work, if you're pleading the blood of Yeshua over the cars that you're driving past, over the people, over the in, into the atmosphere, and you're commanding, you know, you're taking authority over this virus, you're taking authority over your city, over your nation, over, over, over the nations of this world, because God has given us the power and the ability right through our prayer listen it's the prayer of the righteous that prevail it much it's your prayer it's your intercession that is going to save this world at this time okay it's not going to be a vaccine okay because they're they're they're, they're 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 trying to come up they're pull, pulling from strands right now right they're pulling from strands here saying use this use that you that listen okay listen okay prayer fasting seeking god hearing the voice of god what is god saying for us to do as people right he's been saying it now for the last five years consistently pray seek my face so that you will hear and that you will understand and that you will know and then i will give you the wisdom right god's going to give us the wisdom to do that thing that we need to do to make sure right that we stay safe our, our community stay safe right and um our family stay safe but we as the people the people of god who are called by the name of god right we are the ones that have to humble ourselves and pray because only god can save us only god alone has the antidote to get rid of this thing right and it's true us our prayers our prayers is what's going to avail. Our prayers is what's going to destroy this thing. Our prayers is what's going to bring healing back to this land, right? And so if we have to set up prayer groups on each corner, right? Because we, we have to stay six feet apart, right? And we have to wear a mask, right? I, I'm not wearing a mask because I am good, okay? I'm good, all right? I wear a mask when I go into the supermarkets or public places, but... As you can see, I'm out here by myself. Anyways, but, and I'm covered with the blood of Yeshua. I believe that. And, and, and God already gave me my remedy for defeating this virus for myself. And so um, anyone else could use it. If it works for you, fine. I know that it is working for me, clearing up everything that, that ever could come against me. Amen. Right? And prayer. Prayer, guys. Prayer is our antidote. Prayer is the antidote to this demon, right? And I and I understand why, um, you know, why God would um, use have me use salt water in my nose and gargle with salt water, you know, right? If we if 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 you look up um, what salt does and 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 what water is, right? And 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 if and if too, this demon is coming um, from the ocean on land to infect the land you know he's not looking for a salted vessel right he's not looking for a salted vessel he's not looking for some for, for someone with salt that is salted right what the word of god said we are to be salt upon the earth right we're to be the salt upon the earth and so he doesn't want the salt right he's already come from the salt the ocean right Right? Whether he was made from a laboratory, the laboratory blew up and they threw the stuff into the ocean and then the fishes got infected or whatever. I'm just saying, right? It, he don't want to go back there. He, he came, came to the land. He came to this land to infect the people of this land. And he's going around roaming, right? Roaming everywhere, going to and fro over this, over this world. And his plan... This demon's plan is to infect every single person, right? And so whether you get infected or not, you can beat this thing if you understand 
who you are, whose you are, right? And who God, who God is in you, and you're praying, right? I can't, God says the antidote to this thing is prayer. Prayer and fasting. You say, oh, well, I, I know of a, um, a pastor that, that got sick and died. Listen, he might have already had complications or she might have already had complications that put her into even more of a danger of getting this thing. Okay, those with weak communities or diabetes or hypertension and all these things, you, you are put into a, a, um, a higher risk, okay, with this thing. And if you don't know you're infected and you're still doing, you know, all these things except doing listening, okay, and hearing what God's saying, how to handle it for yourself and fear sets in, you know, when, when, you're, when you're suffocating. I don't know if anybody have ever um, um, been in, a, in water and felt like you're drowning. When you're suffocating, fear sets in. And, and, and instead of you doing the thing to save you, you actually do the thing to kill, your, kill you. The, the, the thing that you do actually kills you more faster than the thing to save you. Okay? And the thing is to relax and breathe. Okay? And so when, 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 when the fact that this thing, the fact that it's a no matter this thing, um, it drowns you. It drowns you. It takes your breath away. It takes your breath away. It makes, it suffocates you. That's how it kills people. It suffocates them. Rids them of the oxygen, the ability to breathe. And so it com comes what? what what happens when you, right? It, it only knows how to drown people. Right? Where is it coming from? Okay? And so we have, we, 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 God has given us wisdom. Um, I don't care who want to say that I sound like a crazy person. I don't care. I'm just telling you that what the Lord is showing me is that each of us need to um, take authority over an area get outside and he said use your spiritual language speaking in tongues don't pray natural prayers um oh god uh, bind this and and bring this and all of that he says pray in tongues right because this is a spiritual warfare where this is spiritual warfare pray in your heavenly language when you're out there lift your voice up let people think you're crazy. This is a time to be crazy in God. All right? Lift your voice up. Tear that demon down from your area, from your neighborhood. Let it be known. Let him know that, okay, you're not taking these people out. Amen? And so I just want to encourage you to lift your voices up in prayer. Do not stay silent. This is a time to open your mouth. This is a season. Open your mouth. Open your mouth and speak the prayers of God destroy this works of darkness upon the land okay because it's 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 come it's not it's not going anywhere until we the people of god do what we know we ought to do god's waiting on us to do what we need to do and it's not it's not one it's not two it's not three every one of us who are called by his name got to do our part Okay, so let's get out there. Let's let's begin to pray. Let's intercede on the behalf of the of, of this country, of this nation, of this world. It's in our hands. Okay, Corona is in our hands. Okay, and so let's open our mouth. Begin to pray. And tear this thing down. Amen. God bless you. Have a good day.